All right, fam, what's good, what's good? This is the DJ Connect, and you know what it is. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys um, how you can kind of clean up your Serato um, directory. Like if you got a lot of broken links here, like you'll see right here. Um, this is actually something that I had an issue with on Saturday. I was making crates with my boy. Uh, we made a ton of all these like custom crates. Like this one was called the Top 200 All-Time Party Anthems of All Time. And it, as you'll see... One of these tracks is here right now. So what happened is it was pulling stuff off of, um, I was pulling it out of all of my drives together and I actually pulled it out of the wrong area. So when I put my hard drive in alone, I couldn't actually pull out these tracks because now I had um, missing file names. Um, and this is what that means. If you ever had these little orange files here, it says missing. Uh, it just means that the track is now moved and it's not found. So when I was trying to copy out the crate to give to my boy, to give him his copy of, of the drive, it wasn't working and I couldn't pull anything out. It's because I had broken links. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I teach you guys this really important. Um, if you're ever having a problem like exporting MP3s out of Serato, it's most likely to do with a broken link so what i did here i got the uh the drake 21 savage album um but i renamed it because all it said was explicit mp3s so i renamed it here to drake and 21 savage her loss the clean and the edit uh explicit version right um so now when i used to have it at the old file name it used to just say down here you can see uh, I can't move the mouse, but if you look right to the bottom, it says E new slash Drake explicit MP3 slash explicit slash uh, circle local. So it's looking for that track there, but it's no longer there because I changed the name. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take everything. Essentially, we're going to take everything and then we're going to hit control and delete. So when you're trying to remove music from your, your Serato library by itself, you're hitting control delete now there is a caveat to this if you want to delete it completely like i use this in a situation where like i'm running through my my hard drive um i'm going through all my music for this year and i'm seeing music that's not working and it's just like it's not good it's not working in the club right now it's not working at my weddings um i'm just want to delete it completely and i want to remove it from my hard drive that's a different process and i will show you that right now before we go off topic um, I'm going to pull both these in the album. So now we got the, the clean, the explicit, uh, and this is the actual song. This is where the MP3s are. So I'm not getting broken files. They're all here. Files are working. It's correct. Um, but I don't want, um, all of this music here. So I have this edited copy here so we can see that. Um, I know that, uh, one of these is wrong. So we could actually see, I'll sort it by the location here so we know which one is which. Um, all of these are a copy and I wanna delete these completely. Like I got two copies of this and I wanna delete it, I want it gone. I don't want these tracks here anymore. I know that they're duplicates, so I just wanna remove them forever. Um, this is it here in this directory. This is the music, the copy. Uh, we see edited copy, edited copy. We're gonna come here, we're gonna hit control, shift, hold shift and then delete control shift delete this is not only going to delete it from your serato library it's going to delete it from your whole hard drive from everything so it's going to remove it completely so now like if if you were using it in my sense where i was deleting music that's not working it's going to delete it from my library it's going to delete it from my hard drive so now i'm getting back to hard drive space it's no longer cluttering up my drive it's gone for good so we're going to do that control shift delete Boom, gone. Like it's gone. Let's check the folder here. MP3s are gone. The uh, the folder's still here, obviously, but the MP3s gone. So I'm just gonna delete that because we don't need that. Uh, close that. We're gonna go check the recycle bin, and boom, it's in the recycle bin. Everything's here, good to go. So that's uh, and you'll see it deleted the crate as well. So you want to get rid of that everything we're going to delete it from here now it, it's gone for good it's out of your hard drive it's out of your library and you're good to go so if you want to just do a soft delete like you just want to delete it out of your serato crate you're just going to hold control delete control delete but if you want to delete it completely off your hard drive off your off your library um like if you ever find tracks let's see if i have anything in here right now um 
that is corrupted, you may as well just delete it. Like, these are all um, bad files. They're all missing. Um, so, I, realistically, I could just delete these. Um, I will when I clean my drive up, but what I'm looking for here is a um, corrupted one. So, if you ever see one and it has an icon here and it's got a little lightning bolt, that means it's corrupted. You may as well just delete it completely because you don't want it to be in your hard drive. Um, there's a good chance that when you load that track and you play it and whenever that corruption comes, it's just going to crash your Serato. So anything like that, delete it, hard delete it, get rid of it. Um, soft delete, control, delete, hard delete, control, shift, delete. So a long video for such a short topic, but I hope this really helps you guys out. And for people who have like libraries that are a mess, all cluttered, sometimes the best thing is to just delete it. Like what I like to say um, to all my students, all my guys who are in the private group, all killer, no filler. Like always killer music. You just want hits, hit after hit. If it's like a B-list track and it's just like you just have it to have it, you may as well just delete it. Like you're never going to play it. There's so many good songs out there. We should never be struggling to find some B-list banger uh, unless it's like specifically asked for. There's no real reason to have it. So that's this video, how to delete tracks in Serato. Let's go. Make sure you like and subscribe to this fire if you like this kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one, the DJConnect.com. If you want to join the private members group, absolutely killer. Um, prices will be increasing soon, so make sure you go check it out, the DJConnect.com. And I'll see you on the next one. Let's go. Let's go.